Hey, welcome to another edition of Tim's Final Confessions. I'm Tim Durling. As always, thank you for tuning in. Today's going to be a CD episode. I'm going through my 38 special CD collection, my favorite Southern rock band. Some might say, well, they aren't really a Southern rock band, are they? I'll say, well, maybe that's why they're my favorite. I, I, I like a little Southern rock stuff, but I really like the sound that 38 special um, became known for, their more commercial sound, uh, radio rock sound that paved the way for a lot of bands, and they often don't get credit for it. They started off as a fairly conventional southern rock band. Of course, there's, you know, southern rock lineage with Donnie Van Zant being the, the singer for, uh, in the early days, most of the 38 special material. Of course, brother of the late Ronnie Van Zant and uh, current Leonard Skinner singer Johnny Van Zant. Donnie and Johnny have recorded country albums as Van Zant as well. So we're going to go through my collection. These, uh, some of these are pretty rare CDs, so I'll go through each of them in order of uh, their original release and tell you a little bit about them. Uh, this is the first 38 Special album now. First couple 38 Special albums were not very successful, therefore they became out of print quite quickly. And this is not an original CD issue. Well, that's what the first album cover looks like. You can see it's got 38 Special written on the spine there. This is a CD I got from the UK that was put out in 2003 by a, a company called Lemon Recordings, which put out selected versions of albums that were somehow affiliated with the Universal label. So it was on AM or Mercury or Geffen, they reissued them. Not full catalogs, just kind of here and there. There was kind of no. Um, no set pattern to the releases, and I'll show you what I mean. So, here's where you'll see some of the other albums that were available, like uh, Michael Monroe, Jimmy Barnes, um, variety of acts, um, unknown and a little bit more known. I like the CD itself, what they did with this. It looks like a 45 almost. And uh, I'd been looking for the first two 38 special albums on CD for a long time. So when I found out that it was available, I'm, I wasn't going to kick on, well, it's not an original CD. So here's the booklet that came with it, uh, back cover. And uh, there's a write-up of the album, a little brief history of the band. A few fact collectors, the first couple 38 special albums were actually produced by Dan Hartman, who some will know as the singer and a member of the Edgar Winter Band, a uh, song like Free Ride, that's Dan Hartman on vocals. If you're a disco fan, you'll know him because of the song Instant Replay. If you're like me, just a kid that grew up listening to the radio in the 80s, you'll know him for the song I Can Dream About You. But uh, yeah, he produced 38 Special. So that was their first album, came out in 1977. Second album, I paid a little bit more money for this one when I saw it on eBay. I probably paid... Uh, between forty and fifty dollars altogether, because this is a rare CD, the second thirty-eight special album, special delivery. It originally came out in nineteen seventy-eight. Again, no hits off of this album, as the case with the first album. That's an original A and M CD. That's what it would look like on the side, and uh, A and M put their initial thirty-eight special discs out in nineteen eighty-seven. So that's why you see the two years there, and this one went out of print uh, very soon after. I'm going to say, because I, you, you never saw it. And that's what the disc itself looked like. I say looked like past tense. That's what it looks like. The uh, It's kind of a weird mirror image, trippy uh, front and back cover that you can see here. And there's nothing much inside of it because it is an original CD issue. Just basically the song titles. This one, again, was produced by Dan Hartman. Uh, on the first 238 special albums, sound-wise, I'm going to refer to them as... Leonard Skinner light. They, they really sound like Leonard Skinner. There's obvious lineage there with Donnie Van Sant. But as Don Barnes, the uh, one of the guitar players and occasional vocalist, stepped up to the mic more, uh, things began to happen. Nothing against uh, Donnie Van Sant, certainly, but Don Barnes had a really great voice for delivering sort of commercial radio-friendly rock. And not a lot of people know his name, but a lot of people know his voice. And the first 38 special album that was kind of a shift in that direction. Well, they weren't quite all the way, the way there yet. came out in 1979. This is the third 38 special album, Rockin' Into the Night. 
title song, uh, co-written by uh, Jim Pederick and Frankie Sullivan of Survivor. As a matter of fact, it was recorded and demoed for the first Survivor album that also came out in 1979, but it was pulled from that album, given the 38 special. The Survivor version did come out eventually very, very, very similar, except for basically a change in lead vocals. And it was a minor hit for the band. This is the album. It is an original A&M issue, not the hardest or the easiest thing to find. Also a 1987 copyright on the CD when they would have put it out. And uh, A&M CDs kind of had the same basic font, basic look to them. The back cover of the CD, similar to the back cover of the record, and uh, very simply, this one's for you, Ronnie, Ronnie Van Zant, because uh, the tragic Leonard Skinner plane crash, and then there's some credits. And of course, the first big 38 special album came out in 1980. We've seen this one a lot. It was called Wild Eyed Southern Boys. And this was a game changer for the band. It ended up going platinum and uh, ended up being one of their most successful albums. This is an original A&M uh, issue. For some reason, the copyrights on this do not say 1980. They, ni they say 1978 and 1979. I'm not sure why. Main reason this album took off and uh, kind of put 38 Special on the map is track one, Hold On Loosely. Um, might be one of my all-time favorite songs. Definitely one of my favorite guitar songs and just uh, it's a great, great, well-written song. Jim Peterick, the survivor, by the way, did have his hand in this song as well. He, he was a prolific co-writer. Now, the CD itself here, it's an A&M CD, but it's a little bit more customized. And I don't know if you can notice it or not, but there is a little 38 Special Pistol logo up here. See how well you can see that. It's kind of neat. They took some time uh, putting this together. And this time around, uh, it was produced by a guy named Rodney Mills, who produced most of their big albums. Band shot and uh, some credits. And the fifth 38 special album came out in 1982. Special Forces. This was another platinum album for them. Gave them a top ten single with the song Caught Up in You. Uh, another song, You Keep Running Away, was a top 40 hit. This is an original A&M issue of Special Forces. A little bit more going on on the back cover. CD, a little bit more customized. I bought this CD used, so I'm not sure how old it is, but I'm guessing it's an original because of the fact that there is some customization going on. I don't see used 38 Special CDs that much. And one real way I could tell because the back uh, cover has a little chunk taken out of it. So. I've never gotten around to replacing it. The CD works. Really don't have a problem with it. And this is what was inside of the record. Photos of the band. And some credits. And uh, thank yous. Now we're coming to my personal favorite of all of the 38 special albums. They all have some great tracks on them. But this one's my favorite from start to finish. I think this is just an awesome melodic rock album. 1983, Tour de Force. I love the album cover as well. Again, on a and Records. Bought this CD in the early to mid 90s, but I don't know how many issues of it there would be. So it's it probably always looked like this. That's kind of their logo. If they had a, aside from the pistol logo, they also kind of use that horse logo. This one had uh, top 20 singles If I'd Been the One and Back Where You Belong. Know this album from front to back. I really, really like it. That's what the CD looked like. And. The original, uh, the album had uh, lyrics in it, but the CD doesn't. Just a band photo and some thank yous. The next 38 special album came out in three years after this one, came out in 1986. Again on AM Records, Strength in Numbers. Uh, this was the last album to feature the classic 38 special lineup. And the uh, record, which I've talked about uh, on a couple different episodes, was die cut, so all of these uh, colors change when you pull the sleeve out. This is probably the first 38 special album to come out on CD as a new release. 
This one was produced by Keith Olson, pretty big name producers, worked with uh, White Snake, uh, Fleetwood Mac, Sammy Hagar, a bunch of other acts. Uh, this contained um, "If uh, Like No Other Night, which is another top 20 single for the group. By this time, Don Burns was pretty much singing everything, except for uh, the last couple of songs they gave to Donnie Van Zant. That's what the CD looks like. A lot of these songs have uh, Jim Vallance co-writing on them, among many other co-writers. Some credits, and again the uh, the numbers again. You can see the band members' faces are ghosted on, not really ghosted on there, but uh, partially on there. Uh, first uh, thing I picked up by Thirty Eight Special, once I really got into the band and buying their albums, was uh, a Best of they put out in 1987. I got this from uh, Columbia House in Canada. This is an A and M re release called Flashback, and this is one of the few, um, I don't have this on vinyl. Uh, when this originally came out on vinyl, it came with a four-song EP, a live EP, and then it had ten other songs on it, studio songs, and a live EP. On here, they mix them all together, so there's 14 tracks on here. So I've never been able to track down Flashback on record, and uh, I definitely want to track it down on, on vinyl with that EP. It came separately with it. It's kind of like Cheap Trick, found all the parts. You just don't seem to see it all that much. This is what it looks like on the side. Still a good introduction to 38 Special. Uh, this one was useful because it had two new songs on it, uh, one of which was called Back to Paradise, which is from the movie Revenge of the Nerds 2. It also contained a new track called Same Old Feeling and uh, was the first time on a 38 Special album that you could get the song Teacher Teacher which appeared on the Teacher's movie soundtrack and was a top 30 hit for the band. So this is a good collection of 38 Special in one place to at least get you started. And some might not want to go any further than that. It's a great collection of songs either way. That's what the disc looked like. And credits just go down like so, uh, saying what albums each of these came from. And in the history of the band after that, Don Barnes left 38 Special, so they had to get a new lead vocalist, and they, they found a guy named Max Carl. It was very, very different sounding vocally to uh, Don Barnes, very smooth sounding voice. And in 1988, uh, for the first time on one of their albums, they spelled out 38. So, 38 Special, Rock and Roll Strategy. This came out in... Uh, mid to late 1988. Still on A&M Records. This is their new, new, the last studio album they put out for A&M Records. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it was, uh, it's not one of my favorites. It's pretty mellow in places. Really missed having Don Barnes there, although Donnie Van Zant still sings his tracks, and some of them are quite good, including a song I like on here called Love Strikes. Um, <clears throat> this is what the back cover looks like. Now they had a kind of a surprise hit single, because the album had been out for a while. But they released a track on here called Second Chance, which is a very adult contemporary sounding ballad. And it became, uh, I think it became their highest charting song. Went all the way to number six. It was a number one adult contemporary hit. Definitely didn't sound like anything else they'd ever done. It's very mellow. Uh, good ballad. Seen on a lot of rock ballad compilations. And that is the only reason that this album gained any sort of life. I don't even know if it went gold, to be honest with you. I think they sold a lot of singles for Second Chance. I think that's about it. Not only did they replace Don Barnes with the Max Carl on vocals, but they got another guitar player, uh, a guy named Danny Chauncey, because the band really does need that two guitar sound. And this is the first time that uh, there were full credits, full lyrics, inside uh, one of the 38 special CDs. That's the only time that they spelled out their name. Back after that, they went back to using the number 38. So, um, they're not on A&M Records anymore after this point. They signed to... Charisma Records, which was a label that was out of the UK in the early 70s. Uh, Genesis were on that label, uh, a few other bands. But in America, they uh, were revived in, I think, 1990, around that time. And they were distributed in the States by Atlantic and in Canada by Virgin. 38 Special did one album, and it actually it went out of print, even though there are some quite good songs on it. But again, 1991... Um, grunge is starting to happen. 
melodic rock bands that's kind of they're having their it's the downturn you know and they ended up doing very very well as touring acts a lot of bands uh, in 38 specials position ones that came before them like uh, Foreigner Ario Speedwagon and then bands that were sort of contemporaries of theirs like um, I would say Loverboy maybe Night Ranger um, and you notice I'm not mentioning southern rock bands because they they really weren't they had the lineage but they really didn't sound Southern. So this is Bone Against Steel, the only album they did for Charisma Records. This is a U.S. copy I've got, and um, I'll show you the, that's what it looks like on the side, on the reverse side of that, you'll see this was a cutout version of this that I got. A uh, minor top 40 hit on this album, a song called the Sound of Your Voice. Good song. A song here called Rebel to Rebel, they do that in concert a lot. It's basically a song dedicated to the memory of Ronnie Van Zant. Thing is with Max Carl singing, a lot of this stuff gets a little bit, I'm going to say a little bit country, a little bit southern rock sounding. Uh, Don Barnes definitely added a rock element to the group. Full pictures of all the group uh, members here. I actually met, um, I'll get to that in a bit, and there's all the lyrics and credits in here. Uh, long gap between albums. I actually Saw 38 Special in concert in 1997 and uh, met them. By this time, Don Barnes had rejoined the group. Uh, met, the guy, met the band, nice guys, uh, got their autographs, and they put on a great show. And uh, talked to them about a new album. Are we going to see a new album? They said, oh yeah, we'll have a new album later up this year. And true to their word, they did. So in later 1997, Resolution came out. I bought this in Canada, but it's a U.S. pressing. That's all there were. They would have imported it, and it's on a label called Razor and Tie. So it just shows a four-piece here on the front. They've got, you know, augmented by other musicians. And this actually had a, a rock radio hit called Fade to Blue, the first song on this album. There's some good stuff on here. That's what it, the CD itself looks like, the back cover. And inside of here... It doesn't really have the, no, it doesn't have the lyrics, but it's got, it folds out uh, for pictures and credits. Uh, next thing I have by them, I, there are a lot of compilations that, that came out on CD, a lot of the Icon or Gold or anything, and I, I didn't get all of those. I did pick this one up. Uh, this is on Universal, or Hippo to be exact, and it's an anthology, as you can see there. This is a two-disc anthology. Pretty uh, comprehensive, goes all the way back to their first album, all the way through till, uh, really all the way up till the early 2000s. And this one actually has, um, one of the reasons I bought this was the 14th track on disc one, which is a song called Prisoners of Rock and Roll. That didn't appear on any of their albums, it was a B-side. I don't know if it was to Caught Up in You or You Keep Running Away, it was... I'm pretty sure it was one of the Special Forces singles. So that's what disc one looked like. This is disc two. Um, pictures of the band from various parts of their career. That scene there is actually uh, still from the If I'd Been the One video. And there's a pretty good write-up in here about a band that I read a lot about. So it's, um, it's interesting to kind of read their history. A little bit about how this band formed. Um, the Leonard Skinner guys really did have a lot to do with getting them signed and uh, really getting them started. And to this date, aside from a Christmas album they put out called A Wild Eyed Christmas, which I don't have, uh, the last 38 special album to come out came out in 2004. It was called Drive Train. And uh, this version I have is actually Canadian. It was on Sanctuary Music, which is distributed by EMI. Um, self-produced effort. They uh, kind of got a little bit of a, a new lease on life, but one of the songs on here originally came out uh, in 2000-2001. It was the, the movie Super Troopers. It featured their song Trooper with an Attitude, and that appears on here. Uh, with a bunch of other songs too, obviously. That's the band as it was in 2004. And the lyrics are kind of like this, and like this, and like this, and honestly kind of a pain to look through. Great band. One of those bands that um, the songs will come on and 
you know the song, you might not know what it's called, you might not know who it is, but you like it, you like the sound of it. Thanks, you know, now, iHeartRadio and things like that, and, you know, digital, you can tell who it is. And 38 Special are responsible for a lot of those songs. That's my 38 Special CD collection, and thanks once again for watching Tim's Final Confessions.